Hello everyone, thank you very much for being here one more time. Today we're going to talk about a very important subject, expenses to expect when you're selling a property in Costa Rica. Alright, so stay with us, this is very important when you're selling a property in Costa Rica and know exactly what expenses you're going to have and how much money you're going to put exactly in your pocket. Hey, if you're new here, I am John Ardones, luxury real estate professional for over 10 years here in Costa Rica. So if you are interested in Costa Rica real estate and life, well, this channel is for you. So just go ahead and subscribe, hit the subscribe button down here and stay with us. All right, so you decided to sell your property in beautiful Costa Rica, that's fine. But consider the following expenses before you put the property in the market and sell your property. Well, some of these expenses could be very obvious, but believe me, some sellers don't know it or don't do it because just they don't want to do it or I don't know why. But please consider this because when you don't have these things ready, you can put the selling of your property in a big risk. Even when you have already somebody that wants to buy your property and it's just ready to move ahead and buy it, if you don't have these things ready, you could lose the sale. So stay and pay attention. Number one, pay municipal taxes, also luxury taxes if applied, and homeowners association fees if your property is part of a private community. Have them all up to date and have certified letter from each one of them. All right, let's go to the second point. You, as seller, will have to pay 5% real estate commission plus 13% taxes. Yes. Here in Costa Rica, only seller pays real estate commissions. Also consider that depending on property location, commission could be 6% or even 7% plus taxes. Okay, let's go to the third point now. You, a seller, will pay your attorney fair services, but relax. Here in Costa Rica, buyer pays transfer and stamp fees, which is around 375% plus taxes based on property purchase price. Let's go now to number four. If you have your property under a corporation, SA, limited, or any other kind of uh, corporation, you have to make sure taxes are paid. Even if your corporation is not uh, active commercially, you have to pay taxes. The taxes are different for, between, a, between a corporation that has some activity in the commercial um, market but if you are using your property only I mean your corporation to for to own the property only you also have to pay taxes it's gonna be less but you have to pay them per year so make sure they are paid and up to date let's go to number five in some cases you will have to split escrow agent costs with the buyer however in most cases this cost goes to the buyer's side so don't worry too much about that and sell you property And here are some extra tips. When selling a luxury property in Costa Rica, also consider the following. 
Have a professional appraisal ready. Have an official inspection ready. And before anything, because it could be very expensive, talk to your attorney about the capital gain tax. Here in Costa Rica, you have to pay taxes on capital gain. So talk to your attorney before you sell your property, even before you put it on the market, so you are completely sure about the numbers, how much you're gonna have to pay in all taxes. But the numbers could vary a lot. So make sure you talk to your attorney before. These things that we spoke about are very important. So if you have any questions, if you wanna contact me for any further information, just don't hesitate to email me. Don't hesitate to just put comments on this video and be sure I'm going to be answering all of them. Please remember that every transaction has its own complexity. So make sure that you are working with a professional real estate agent and team such as Luxury Homes Costa Rica and close your deals with a lot less stress. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed the video, if this video was useful for you, please just hit the subscribe button down here, hit the bell so you don't miss any of the information. So I hope you enjoyed it a lot and it's going to help you a lot when you're selling your property in Costa Rica. I hope I can see you soon in the next video.